What's up, YouTubers? Pokey Jedi Trek here. So, today's cooking video I was originally supposed to have and posted and shot in December, but unfortunately, my mother got sick and she um, couldn't attend what she was going to attend at the time, and which gives me the opportunity to shoot this cooking video because, as some of you may or may not know this, but most of the time when I shoot my cooking videos, my mother is actually full of chagrin because she has concerns about privacy dis interruptions and stuff. But she, but, and let's just say she is not very supportive of my channel. Anyway, so today's cooking video, I'm going to show you an, I'm going to show you an experimental method on how to make cookies. So, because this was what I was originally going to show you. So, because a few days before Thanksgiving, our oven bit the dust and we got a new one just before Christmas. And Let's, and I'm going to be showing, and this is what's, in, and that's what's inspiring me to do this cooking video for you. Anyway, we're just going to skip straight to the instructions because if you want to know, because it does not really matter what kind of batter you use, but I'm going to use chocolate chip. If you want to know how to make chocolate chip cookies, or any other types of cookies for that matter, feel free to check out all the cooking videos that I've done in the past on how to make them. Because it would be kind of meaningless if I re if I did the, if I re did this for you again. Because I like to ensure that many of the stuff I post to YouTube age well. Anyway, let's go over what we got to do. As you see right here, I prepped my cookie dough in advance. Because, like I said, it would be meaningless if I reshot the cooking video and and showed you how to make chocolate chip cookies all over again. Because I already have a video up from. 2017 and a failed attempt from 16. Anyway, so anyway, you're gonna take your air fryer, so you're gonna make your cookie dough according to your package instructions. It's up to you if you want to make the dough yourself or or get store-bought stuff. Either way, I'm gonna roll some cookie, so I'm gonna roll a small ball of this onto a cook onto the cookie sheet be using one of these Cuisinart air fryer oven, convection air fryer ovens, and then I'm going to get, and then what you're going to do is you're going to set your oven, so make sure, so you're going to set the function on your oven to bake mode, as you can see I already have set up, and then you're going to set them where, where it'll take, where it'll take long, at a position where it'll take shorter, shorter time to cook. And then you're going to let, and then you're going to let them bake for about eight to ten minutes. And like I said, this is an experimental recipe. I've never done anything like this before, but I see, but I have faith that it will work out. All right, so the time is up. I'm going to pull. I don't want to set the smoke detectors off, but they appear to be done. Hmm. I got to turn on a light. Mm, they appear to be d they appear to be well done. I'm gonna let them sit for a couple of minutes before I transfer them to the cooling rack, and then I'm gonna set the air fryer, and I'm gonna set this electric air fryer oven to bake to convection bake. I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna transfer these cookies to the cooling rack, and then we're gonna shoot that. I'm gonna demonstrate how to make these types of cookies and I'm going to demonstrate if it's also possible to bake these in a conve on convection bake. Alright, so I got four more cookies on this on this baking sheet and I got it set to convection bake at 375 which is how Anyway, let's now let's bake for 10 minutes. Oh, and one more thing, if you're wondering why I turned the light on earlier, is because um, it's getting dark. Because, as you know, up here in South Central Alaska, around the holidays, the sun will be going down before 4 o'clock. Anyway, and while these are baking, I'm going to demonstrate how to make... I'm going to sample one of the ones I used 
one of the cookies I made in convection bake in standard bake mode. And then when the convection bake ones are done, I'll sample one of those once they cool enough. So here is the standard bake cookie. Let's see how it turned out. This came out surprisingly well done. I'm surprised. Still waiting the convection bake part to finish, but figured I'd sample one of these in the meantime. Okay, so this batch of convection oven baked um, cookies appears to be done. Now we just gotta let it sit for a couple minutes before I transfer them to the cooling rack, and I'll sample. Let it cool for a little bit, and I'll sample them. So. I feel enough time may have passed now. I'm going to transfer these cookies to the wire rack. Carefully. Then I need to let them sit for a while before I can sample them. Either way, now I'm gonna let these cookies. Now I'm gonna let these cookies sit until until they've fully cooled, and then I'm gonna sample one. Hopefully, convection will taste as good as conventional oven-made cookies. Anyway, hope I'm gonna sample one as soon as they cool. All right, so here's the convection bake mode oven cookie that I made. I'm gonna sample a bite. texture and it's really spot on. I like it. So anyway, so I'm going to consider, so anyway, this isn't, so anyway, that's the experimental method I'm showing you on how to make cookies in an air fryer oven. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time.